Hi and welcome back to a quick video here in my Singles Functions uh, series. Uh, we're going to talk about stack tracks and how to do that now and why. Well, the obvious reason is, is when we've got loads of tracks like here, you can see my my screen here. I've got all these pink and purpley coloured tracks which are vocals to this Japanese remix I've been working on that I can't play because of uh, copyright issues. So I'll just show you it. But basically there's a hell of a lot of vocals in it. And uh, what I did is basically I stacked them all up to get them out of the way once I'd finished with them. And, uh, and I could go back, of course, anytime. So what you do is you right click on the uh, top track like that. You go down to create track stack here. You also have a shortcut, uh, which is written next to it, as you can see. So you click on stack track and then that will ask you if you want a folder, stack or summon track. I always go for folder. There's details about what that does here. You can read here what's written here, what that does. You can have a look at yourself. I won't read it out myself because it'll take too long. Uh, but I always go for a folder stack. So let's create a folder stack. That creates this folder here, as you can see. Which you can open up anytime you want. And uh, just tidies up the project nicely. Obviously, if you want to do the summing, there's a lot more functions there you can use. So that's how you make a stack track. I hope that was useful for you. If it was, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you soon. Ciao.